You may have asked yourself at one point or another, what are these rock formations even for? Why are they here? Right along the Galveston seawall, there are 15 rock groins extending out into the Gulf of Mexico. And to start answering this question, the first thing we have to do is talk about the power of the sea. Now, I would guess this rock right here weighs at least a ton, but you can see the water that's not even that powerful today rocking this granite stone back and forth. Now, the reasoning behind building these rock groins goes back to how Galveston Island formed in the first place tens of thousands of years ago. It all comes down to sand and sand deposits. Now, Galveston Island is a barrier island on the Gulf Coast that formed over tens of thousands of years. The island is essentially a sandbar where sand and sediment has built up over time, eventually creating the island of Galveston that we know today. Now, let's take it back to the 1800s when Galveston began to build a jetty system at the entrance to the ship channel. Go check out the Galveston Unscripted video on the Galveston jetties. With everything, there is a give and a take, a delicate balance. One of the unintended consequences of building those jetties was that sand no longer deposited along Galveston's beaches the way it once had. And it didn't take too long to notice that that was affecting beach tourism here in Galveston, especially during hurricanes like the 1900 storm where it eroded away most of the beach line, and there was not enough sand flowing through this area, replenishing the beach. With the addition of the seawall after the 1900 storm, more and more visitors began to come down and visit Galveston Island, specifically to spend time on the beach. By the 1930s, it became extremely clear that the island needed to find a way to keep the beaches intact. And the design for these rock groins was developed. Now, tourism and beach going was definitely not the only factor in mind when it comes to building these rock groins. But a beach line plays a huge factor in protecting the seawall itself. If there were no sand in between the seawall and the water, and the water was literally lapping up against the seawall, the footings of this 17-foot high seawall would eventually erode away and collapse. The idea behind these rock groins is that sand and sediment could enter in between one another, but not exit as fast as they normally would without groins. Maintaining the level of sand on the beach, or at least slowing down the erosion in between each rock groin.